Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and blowing the Tsar Bomba. AN-602, also known as the Tsar Bomba, was a hydrogen aerial bomb and was the most powerful nuclear weapon ever created and tested. Tsar Bomba was developed in the USSR by a group of nuclear physicists under the leadership of Kirchhoff, Academium of the USSR, Academy of Sciences. The use of the AN-602 clearly demonstrated the Soviet Union's possession of weapons of mass destruction. Tested on the 30th of October 1961, the scientific result of the test was the experimental verification of calculation principles and multi-stage thermonuclear changes, or charges, sorry. To this day, the bomb remains the most powerful human-made explosive ever detonated. The bomb was dropped from a Tu-95V aircraft that detonated 4,000 meters, or 13,000 feet, above the Sukhoi Nos, or translates to Dry Nose, Cape of the Sarvenini Island, Novena Zemla, 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles from uh, Michisuki Kabe, north of the Metconian Strait. The detonation was secret but was detected by United States intelligence agencies. The U.S. apparently had an instrumental K or instrumented KC 135R aircraft in the area of the test, close enough to have been scorched by the blast. So, yeah, the Tsar Bomb here. Um, insane weapon. Uh, like I just mentioned, the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated. Not the most powerful nuclear weapon ever made, but the one that's ever been actually detonated on planet Earth. Um, and the explosive yield is just insane. If you compare this to like the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, those bombs were like conventional bombs compared to this thing. Um, they There's charts you can look up if you're more interested in it that show the actual size of the explosion in comparison and it's just absolutely insane um i know in particular that for this mission the crew of the tu-95 and there was also a um i think an an-19 or something like that that was trailing along with it uh they were given a 50 percent chance of surviving the mission if they did not get far enough away from the explosion when it detonated in midair then it would have completely disintegrated their planes um the crews were able to make it out uh, but still, absolutely crazy to think that this bomb was so powerful, the crews of the planes flying it may not have even survived. Um, so really crazy stuff, really uh, historic bomb, I mean, in that sense. Uh, you know, thankfully it was never actually used for warfare or anything like that, but just goes to show you just how powerful nuclear weapons really can be. Um, so yeah, a lot of guys, after the making uh, Little Boy and Fat Man, you guys really wanted to see... The Tsar Bomb and the Tsar Bomb here absolutely dwarfs those bombs in comparison. The bomb itself is 8 meters long in real life, and this basically translates to 2 to 1 scale at 16 meter, or sixteen blocks long. That's a pretty dang big bomb. Um, so as you can see here, this thing is like the size of like some of my tanks I've done. Bigger than some of my tanks, and lengthwise, this thing is huge. Um, you can just imagine the explosive yield it has, but it's overall really kind of cool uh, design here. Obviously, the warhead and all that in this section here of the bomb as you work our way back we have basically some of the stabilizers here to kind of keep it you know going in the right direction here and uh the back here uh one thing that's interesting about this is to actually slow the bomb down they would actually have a chute that would pop out the back and then it would explode in as i mentioned in midair um so that would kind of slow it down and hopefully give the crew a little bit more time to escape um but uh yeah, crazy stuff here. Anyways, that's it for the overview for the Tsar Bomb. Let's go ahead and uh, move into the tutorial. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into uh, the tutorial. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished andesite top slab. We're going to go then go back one, two, three, four, five. So you have a row of six here of polished andesite top slabs. We're going to go into go to the sides of the middle four blocks and place down four polished andesite top slabs here to both sides like so. Once we have that done, we're going to then take our polished andesite blocks and we're going to place down a row of three across the... Uh, polished inside top slab here in the front and we're going to place down an Arabic uh, or sorry a black concrete block coming off the middle block a Arabic top slab to both sides here and then an Arabic top slab coming off that black concrete block now back from this black concrete block or this uh, sorry row of three of polished inside we're going to place down an additional uh, one two three four and five rows of three so you have a total of six rows of three there of um, polished inside and on the middle four rows here to the sides we're going to go and place down four andesite walls like that along the side. When we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down two polished andesite blocks down the center here, followed by two polished andesite upside down stairs to both sides, and then we're going to go ahead and place down two polished andesite blocks again 
in the center here and again two polished nails like top slabs of both sides. We're going to go and then place down another brick upside down stair here followed by one, two, and uh, three narrow brick top slabs coming off that narrow brick stair like so. With uh, that done, go ahead and move it up to our next, uh, I guess, kind of layer. We're going to go ahead and place down an orange terracotta block on top of this narrow brick top slab and to both sides of it we're going to place down a black concrete block. Now coming off those black concrete blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down two stone buttons, like so. And we're going to go then go ahead and go forward with our black concrete, one, two, three. Blocks forward and one, two, three, so you have a row of four here. We can also fill in the inside here as well with some black concrete just to kind of close that area off. Now from the last two black concrete blocks here on the rear of the bomb, we're going to go and drop down with narrow brick top slabs. And these top slabs are going to drop down to narrow brick half slabs. And it's going to be the same thing over here on this side. And this is going to basically just create the fins here for the bomb. So just like that. And we want to go and then grab ourselves some levers. I'm going to place down two levers here. Make sure we flick them toward the black concrete blocks like so. And that'll do it there for the back. Going to continue now, we're going to take our polished dance. I'm going to place down a row of three across. Followed by a second row of three, a third row, a fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you have ten rows of three here, polished dance like going all the way across. Followed by a row of three of black concrete across the front here. A black concrete block in the center and an air brick wall to both sides. Coming off the black concrete block, we're going to place down a stone button. And we want to go and then place down a end rod, which is going to be coming off these two narrow brick walls, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our andesite walls. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six along the side here. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame. We're going to place down an item frame here on the third polished andes or the third andesite uh, wall there from the front. And in that, we're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block and a dark oak sign on the side of the wall. Same thing over here as well, just like that. Now, once that's all done, go ahead and move it up to our next row. Uh, up, we're going to place down a black concrete block here. And a narrow brick slab on both sides and a narrow brick slab on top of this front block like so. We're going to take our polished and side blocks. We're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a second row of three, a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth row of three going back like that. We're going to go ahead and go to the middle four blocks. Place down and side walls here along the sides, on both sides there. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak wood buttons, and we're going to go ahead and wrap dark oak wood buttons here around these polished anzite blocks. So just like that. And uh, once we have that all done, uh, we're going to continue working our way back. So for this, we're going to go ahead and take our polished anzite. We're going to place down one, two, three, four blocks down the center, two anzite stairs to both sides here, the first two blocks, and then two anzite slabs on both sides of the, the next two blocks. And also a dark oak wood button on top of this uh, polished anti block here. And also a dark oak wood button on the side, bottom of this one. And also on the sides of this full block here to both sides. Uh, we're going to then place down a narrow brick stair. Followed by a narrow brick slab. Two black concrete blocks and then two black concrete blocks on top of those two. We're going to place down a stone button come off this black concrete block to the back. Uh, levers coming off the two black concrete blocks here. We're going to have a flick down to connect up to the bomb like so. After that, uh, we want to go and then go to the top here, and we're going to finish this bomb off. So for this, we're going to place down an andesite slab here, a row of three of andesite slabs, a polished andesite stair, andesite slab to both sides, another row of three of andesite slabs, a second row of three, and then another andesite slab right here in the center. And we want to go and then, after that, place down one and two iron trap doors like that to go and finish it off. And also on the bottom here, we're going to have two iron trap doors coming off this polished andesite top slab on the bottom there. And that right there is going to complete my design here for the Star Bomba. Absolute massive bomb and uh, going to make a great addition to any of your possible dioramas or even if you are just wanting to put this in a museum or something like that or have a nice cool um, you know, piece to put on your world. Kind of a really big piece of history. Um, anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hope you guys do enjoy this build. If you guys do enjoy using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This is me, thank you for the sign of the build. Tweet to my channel or this video if this does create any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And uh, with that, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Pierre 204, and I'll see you guys next time.